my name is Daniel Maggie, and uh, I own Outland Health and Fitness. Coaching is my main focus of being on the floor. So personal training and uh, group classes a little bit. Personal training is the bigger one. Obviously we have other coaches to help with that and uh, admin staff to help with the logistics of daily operations type of things. Um, Dan, for those that aren't too familiar with Outland Health and Fitness, talk about what you guys are all about. What happens at Outland Health and Fitness? Well, Outland's uh, a coached facility. So that being said, it's just, it's not an access point. It's not you come and do your own thing. It's you are guided, you are supported, you have accountability, you are shown how to do things properly and essentially throughout the course of an individual's journey, right? If it's coming in and wanting to just get in shape, which is the most part, want to lose some weight, get in shape. Well, that's what we do. Um, help you achieve those goals, however that may look for the individual. And what would kind of be the decision making for somebody when they're choosing between doing, um, you know, one-on-one -on -one sessions or, or going to a group class? Well, in order to actually start here, regardless, you're going to do one-on-one. -on -one. So I'm going to, it's the way I evaluate. I just don't throw you into the lion's den, as I like to say. I got to see if this individual moves well, um, teach them the basic movements and make sure that they're confident and I'm confident with them to go into group. This way, I'm not setting them up for failure by here you go, here's group, and then you get into it. And um, group can be scary. You know, it can be intimidating. It can be something very different for many people. So when something's different for us, we're unsure. And if we're unsure, then sometimes we hold back. So by doing PT and easing somebody into it, it really builds that confidence that they can do it, you know? Um, it's a big thing that I deal with here is, oh, I can't do that. I, I can't do that movement or lift that bar or jump that box. And, and maybe right now you can't, but as we build strength and as we build your confidence, you will eventually do these tasks that you never thought. It's probably the biggest thing I hear doing things I've never thought I could do before. And there's got to be a, a level of excitement when somebody does reach that point where they're doing something they thought that they couldn't do. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, as a coach, I mean, our emphasis is just that. My my successes are their successes. When they win, I win, right? It's um, That's what we want. We want them. And when they do something, when you have an individual do something that they never thought they could, it's a pretty exciting piece. And then it and it keeps them coming back for more too, right? Oh, I can do that. Well, now I want to try this and I want to do that. And Absolutely. And uh, maybe we can kind of rewind the clock a little bit and talk about you, Dan. Uh, what led you into your fitness journey so far that you opened up this center for other people to come on down and start their fitness journey? Fitness was always something I did working out at the gym. Um, before the gym, I owned a landscaping company. And so I would always be active and physically moving and things like that. And then, uh, yeah, I met a buddy, well, a buddy of mine, and then we went to actually a CrossFit gym in Winnipeg. And that's kind of where the the whole love started and the way of moving and fitness. And and then, you know, opened up a small gym here in Daltona, started small, went from 600 to 1200 square feet to 2400. Now we're at like 4,300 square feet. Um, organically built, grew it, got to where we are. and. And it also has have evolved, right? From the way I taught and trained at the beginning versus what we do now is quite different. You know, it's not just crazy throw down and do all this stuff, right? It's, I've learned, I've, I've, I've grown as a coach and a gym and a business. So do you ever reflect back on the days when you first started and, and kind of feel accomplished as to where you are now? Oh, heck yeah, yeah, from, yeah, yeah, when you, think about 600 square feet, if you can actually visualize the size of that. Um, and starting with just that five people, we had some pull-up bars, had a couple rowers, you know, just enough equipment to get things going and see if there was a drive for it. And the things that Outland now does for the community and the pieces, and it's only going to get more, especially, like I said, once we can actually do more. Um, I've had lots of time to think. So we've got lots of plans and we've got things that we want to do, but obviously we need some green lights to go on so that we can do them. Um, so yeah, definitely 
plenty more to come and excited for what the future has to bring. For sure. And and speaking of waiting for a green light, um, what would you say, uh, you know, when people cannot go to the gym, they cannot visit Outland Health and Fitness, what are some ways that you would encourage people to, you know, take some time to, to get active on their own? Really, if the weather's nice, you know, it's it's getting outside. It's if you're a, someone that likes biking, even if it's a good little walk, depending on where you're at in that journey. If it's walking is not your thing, maybe try running, you know. Um, and then there's plenty of at home exercises and weight things that you can do. I think it's really just exploring your options and opening up your imagination, right? It doesn't have to be just in the basement. It can be in a park. It could be, you know, really just about anything can be kind of used as fitness when you start to look around and, you know, a picnic table while you're camping and, uh, you know, the lake, if you're swimming, things like that. Um, lots of different approaches I think people can take. It just, depending on kind of what they're comfortable with and where they're at and what they want to do is the big one. If somebody wants to learn more about Outland Health and, and Fitness, where can they go to learn more or what's the first step they should take? Outlandfitness.com, bring you to the website kind of see what we have there and there's ways that you can easily contact us and set uh, like a no sweat intro which is essentially just our our meetings that's it's just talking no commitments nothing needed just to chat and see if you're a fit and if, or just even just you know on social media just shooting us a dm through uh instagram or facebook and start a conversation that way the best way is just to start a conversation because conversations don't cost anything and you got nothing to lose if that's the avenue that you're looking for because you never know right